probably cares. is like a. It's our viewers. First of all, before we start off the show, I'd like to just say something really quickly. Um, okay. I'm just so thankful to, you know, be doing this show with you guys and um, not to like cause any like cry. tears or anything like that, but it's true, you know? You initially, initially, I didn't think I was going to get into something like this and like. You guys had made this experience oh. so awesome. Wow. She was the fiend. Was so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. Is this confession time? Bring um, it. Yeah. We should like have like a confession time like in the beginning. Confessionals. Okay, let it gals. all out, guys. Um, confession time, Josephine. Um, I was afraid of you when I met you. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Josephine and I knew each other uh, at the beginning of freshman year, and we, we were in the city. We were in the city together. We were together. trying to find our way. Yeah. We were like the na- We were with the big group, and we were like the navigators. We were the navigators. We were looking for the <laughs> the D train subway. I remember this. Yeah. And I was I was the girl from the Bronx, and you were the girl from Cali. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. TBT. That's a fun mix. Um, that's really not a confession. That's more of a personal anecdote. Um, we have a we have fun. a love that you know you guys don't know about. Yeah. So we love each other. <laughs> uh, we're starting off this show by saying that we're in love. We're here, <laughs> um, three lovers doing a radio show. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <clears throat> now to hit you with some sports. Hit me with the sports. I will hit you with some sports. Ow! Don't not too hard. It hurts. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Not sorry. Okay. Show. In uh, news of the Major League Baseball, MLB. MLB, MLB, favorite thing of my life. Okay, so last night the New York Mets took on the Atlanta Braves at City Field, home of the Amazons, which resulted in a 7-1 to victory for the Mets. Jonathan Neese got his second win of the season after pitching six and two-third innings, in which he gave up four hits, including a home run to Cameron Mabin, struck out five batters, and allowed four walks. The Mets out hit the Braves nine to five. Yes, so proud of them. Woo! Um, just one highlight of the game was Kevin Ploiecki and his outstanding Major League debut. Ploiecki went two to f- two and four while scoring two runs. The two teams will face off again once again tonight at seven ten. Ploiecki is like he's great. I mean, this is only his first game, but still, he did. He's got a lot of uh, future with him. We got a lot of prospect. Good for him. Or, that's not even a sentence. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, half delirious right now. I'm still not feeling too great. She's still struck by love. Yeah, I'm still, still <laughs> in by love. By our love. She can't get enough. <laughs> um, last night's win for the Mets was the ninth straight win. The Amazons are now in first place of the NL East with a record of 11-3. and three. Um, They have they are tied with for the best record in all of baseball with, ooh, I think it's the Kansas City Royals. And let me check who the other one was. But until I find that, um, yeah, th- last night was a great game. Good. Um, let's see. Where did that one? Uh, Detroit Tigers. There you go. That's who it was. I saw it before I came here. I forgot to mention it. So, yeah, the Mets are tied for first with the best record in baseball of, with a record of 11-3 and three with the Detroit Tigers and Kansas City Royals of the American League Central. Um, the, their record of 11-3 and, and three, Puts them 2.5 games ahead of the Atlanta Braves, who have a record of 8-5. and five. Um, Anyone who actually doubted the talent of the young Mets team is definitely questioning their judgment right about now. Um, not many people believed in them uh, that, or, and that their, talent, their team had much talent, but they're proving everyone wrong right about now. Um, yeah, of course, there's still numerous games left to play since there's 162 games in the season, just in case the people weren't aware of that. Um, but they still, like, they, they can make it, like, I have faith, but, like, if you don't believe in them now, how can you not acknowledge, like, the talent that they have and the pot- the potential that they have? I mean, I don't know how, what anyone else says or believes, but I definitely see big things in the future for the organization. Yeah, don't doubt the underdog. Yeah. I like the underdog. They're great. Yeah, they're And great. they're pretty, too. They're fun to look at. You, yeah, <laughs> you love them. I do. Yeah. Like more than a lot. Oh, I can tell. I don't hide it. I'm high key you obsessed don't with hide them. It. You you don't hide you like, don't hide it. <laughs> I'm high key obsessed. But not even low key. That's a good thing. That's I have a good pride. thing. It's not a secret. You know. It's not. 
a tattoo on my forehead. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> injury updates for the Mets. Catcher Travis Darno will be wearing a splint on his right little finger due to a metacarpal fracture after he was hit by a pitch. Oh, no. Yeah. Did you say his middle finger or little finger? Little finger. Like his pinky? Yeah. Ow. Yeah. I didn't, I wasn't home for that, but I briefly saw, um, a clip of it, and it looked like it hurt quite a bit. Um. Oh, yeah, those are the worst. Yeah. You jam a pinky? Not even, like, a jam with a a fracture, because you get hit by the pitch. Oh, dang. So, yeah. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. But, um, he's gonna be wearing the splint for three weeks until he's re-examined, and what will then, uh, will be determined if he's able to play or not. Hmm. Um, also, Mets pitcher Jerry Jerry Blevins, I'm sorry, will also be in a splint, for, but for six weeks after a distal radius fracture in his left arm. Um, he too will be re-examined, but in six weeks, as I just said, and at that time, it will be determined if he can resume throwing or not. So we hope they get better. Get better. Um, they both have been put on the 15-day DL, so with hopes to return a sap like Rocky. How do you feel about that? Just wow, no one picked that one up? No, guys, I'll get better at sports, I swear. No, no one picked up my reference to ASAP Rocky? Come on. <sighs> I tried. That was like my bad Avril Lavigne joke a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Wait, Macy, did you get it? Uh, no. Wait, can you say it again? I missed <laughs> it. I said, I hope they return ASAP like Rocky. Get it, ASAP Rocky? No. No. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I know who he is, but what 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 is that reference? His name is ASAP Rocky. Yeah. I said ASAP. Oh, ASAP dollar sign. Oh, I missed. I completely missed his name. Oh. That's where that's where my flaw was. I just oh. was not. We just <laughs> do. I still get an, an A for effort? Or yes. Like a plus. Yeah, I'll Thanks. give you good job. Jill. That was actually my error. <laughs> so I will take the blame for that because I was just not. I wasn't being a good listener. Okay. That's that was my problem. I wasn't. You gotta listening. be like, B -b 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 ASAP Rocky, and then you know I'll hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next time, just I'll, scream I'll, it yeah, in I'll my face. Yeah, I'll scream it next time. Yeah. I even jump on, on the chair and I'll, I'll just scream. ASAP Rocky, yeah. there okay. you go. Do like and the Tom Cruise to jumping on the couch. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm in love. You know what? It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The no. one with Oprah, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. I don't really pay attention to Tom Cruise. Uh, n n yeah. nobody should. Okay. I kind of think he's outdated. He's just, he's crazy. I don't even. I'm not even gonna talk about him. Okay. He does not deserve our time, ladies. No, he does not. No. Okay, we're going to skip to the... See, the see, I'm so sorry, guys. I am, like, half asleep right now. I, I'm like, no. I'm out of it. Jill, I think it's the weather. It's still 420. I know. <laughs> Jill <it's> is <laughs> just still on 420. I'm still in sleep mode. Leave me alone. It's the weed. It'll do it to you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Seattle Mariners. Woo! Woo! Yes, Macy. Go that was, ends. That was for you. Go ends. Um, the Mariners <laughs> lost last loving. night to the Houston Astros <laughs> six to three. Cool. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately they are in last place in their division. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Um, yeah, they are in last place of the AL West. Yep. With a record of five go? and nine. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Five and nine, I know that. Yeah. And you know what? This is exactly what happens when you hype up a team too much at the beginning of the year. Yeah. They just, they, they it blow it. That, but that's Seattle sports. And I, I've said it before, I'll say it again, that's Seattle sports. Everyone will say, like, wow, the Mariners are looking good this year. Maybe maybe a World Series contender, and then they just suck. Not a World Series contender. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and then they end up not being... Nice terminology. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Woo! Uh, we are learning every Good job, guys. Week. I um, mean, they are only three games back right now. Right. And it's only the beginning of the season, so you never know. They could do it. You never know what can happen. I mean, you baseball baseball's a sport where really anything can happen. Yeah, literally. Um, especially, I mean, I know in football they say, oh, you know, anything can kind of happen. I don't think that's true. I think football is pretty consistent all year. But baseball, really, you just you can't really predict who's going to win. No, not really. There's just so much that could go wrong. And then also so much that could go right. So it oh, really yeah. depends. Um, but, yes, the Mariners will be taking on the Houston Astros tonight. Uh, 10 p.m. East Coast time, 7 p.m. West Coast time, of course, at Safeco Field in Seattle, Washington. You go, girl. Great field. Um... 
Is that all we have for sports? Um, um, I think so. If so, I can move on to the weather. Um, I do have a forecast mm. for you today. Uh, California, we're going to start with the California weather. It is currently 67 degrees and sunny in my hometown of Loomis, California, North Northern California, 67 degrees. Um, New Rochelle and New York City, what happened? Uh, mm -hmm. It was about 65 degrees and sunny a few hours ago. But uh, if you take the chance to look outside your window, you will see that it is uh, Hurricane Sandy-ish out there now. Yeah. Um, All of a sudden, like, the clouds just, started to come in. <laughs> the clouds just rolled in and, and the wind dumped, <laughs> And the wind started doing its thing. And the rain was falling hard. I don't know what happened. I'm not too happy about that. Like, I thought today was going to be nice it's and very, warm. It's very on and off. It yeah. is. Like, I was fine beginning of the day. And then I walked out of the Murphy Center, like, what, an hour ago, maybe? And I'm wearing mm. capris that, like, don't even... You don't get, like, the workout capris, like, the champion oh, yeah. ones. And they go up to, like, mid-calf. And now I have goosebumps. Like, what is this? I saw people wearing dresses. Yeah, no. No, yeah. nobody was prepared. Nobody, nobody was ready for that. Um, I was though. I'm wearing jeans and a coat, and everybody made fun of me for wearing my giant parka. And now I'm the one that's laughing. Spring was like, <laughs> "Oh, you guys wanted warm weather? <laughs> LOL. Just kidding. Just We're gonna kidding. hit you with some spring, uh, winter weather again." <laughs> Um, extended forecast, so right now we've got, again, uh, it's 64 degrees, partly cloudy now, windy, uh, the rain is supposed to, uh, kick up again tonight, though, um, 60% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow, Thursday, we are looking at 53 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, uh, with 10% chance of rain, and then heading into Thursday night, uh, 36 degrees, that's a cold day. Uh, partly cloudy, um, zero percent chance of precipitation. So it looks like this is the worst of the rain uh, today. Uh, and then heading into this weekend, it just looks like partly cloudy skies, but colder temperatures. So wear a jacket out there. This is not shorts and t-shirt weather yet. No. I think it's ridiculous. I see all of you New Yorkers walking around. Oh, it's spring. It's fifty. No, it is not spring yet. It's not fifty. Nay, not nay, spring. I say. But I get it. I you mean, guys should know better. New York, yeah. can, New York weather could switch up on you. Oh, yeah. So so bipolar quickly. people. Yeah. Bipolar weather, too. Well, yeah, especially walking around the city. You know, you're walking around in the sun, and it's hot, and you're sweating. And then you walk down another avenue. It's in complete shade, and it's freezing. Exactly. You know? That's why it's always great to, you know, dress in the middle yeah. of it. You know? Yeah, that's a good tip. Josephine Fashionista tip. side of me is coming out. Josephine says, dress in the middle. That's just safer. Dress in the middle. Dress in the middle. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> dress in the middle. That's just safer for It's like It's like everyone. wear um, wear a t-shirt, put on the cardigan, and then when it's hot, take off the cardigan, and when it's cold, put on the cardigan. <laughs> wear a backpack, put a parka in it. Right. If you get exactly. colder, put the parka on. Get hot, take it take off. Take it off. You guys know the drill. But make it look stylish at the same time. Wear some like cute leggings with some cute sandals, but then in the backpack, also leggings. put a pair of snow boots because you never know what's going to happen. Leggings? Right. I, You know what? The leggings thing is a new trend because when I was younger, wow, back in my day, uh, <laughs> when I was younger, nobody wore leggings. It was like gauchos. Oh my god, I remember those! Gauchos were the tightest pants were, except for tights, which you no, wore under were the, skirts. Gauchos were the ones that were like the fit and flare well, things. They were, yeah, they were fit and flare. I mean, they were as close to yoga pants and oh, yeah, leggings yeah, as you yeah. could get without just wearing like yeah. see-through tights. So those the leggings thing and workout pants, that's a new I used to wear trend. those all the time. Gauchos were... Those my were the mom, thing. My mom would never buy me a pair of gauchos. I wanted them. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't. Yeah, no. Looking back at glad. it now, mom, you made a good choice. To yeah, not your let mom your daughter did. Work out your mom did you justice. She did me justice. She did. Uh, so that's our weather report for today and tomorrow. I've got nothing else on the weather. Okay. Nothing else on sports. So nope. we're gonna head to a musical break. We're back in.